Hello, welcome to a new video, and this is the second video where we're going to be raiding Mighty Car Mods Cars. So I'll drop that up in the top right hand corner. Also, in the top right hand corner will be the series for all the plays of all the cars we've been modif- with whoops, we've been editing? No. We've been reviewing. So that includes, you know, New Zealanders cars as well as Mad Mike's insane cars. What we do in these, we get pictures of cars, see what we like, see what we dislike, and give it a score out of 10. That's very harsh, and this score is based on what I believe the whole car community would rate it, not just my personal opinion. So your car should have a lot of power, good looks, and an insane build, not basic as hell and all that. And in this video, we'll be rating Yaris Hilton, too sexy, too wasted, the blue turd, but now let's rate Yaris Hilton. The Yaris with the Corolla engine swap that has been boosted. Straight up, that's the perfect idea. You get an engine from the same manufacturer than you boost. Like if you had an E90 M3, then you put an E60 M5 V10 in it, then you boost it. But there's a problem with it. It blew up pr pretty quickly. It didn't push the biggest amount of power, but it was a small car, so it was actually pretty good, but it did blow up. But in terms of looks, it's wide bodied. That looks sick. We got some wheels on there. The fitment is definitely not very good. You can also use, you know, some lights, an aftermarket bumper, though I like that fat intercooler out there. You know, a lip, tail lights. Let's go on to scoring it. I think we'll give it a 1 out of 10 because it blew up and, and the looks, they're, they're alright, but you know, they're definitely not there. Though it is very unique. Go! A little bit of wheel spin. Oh, listen to that turbo, people. Too sexy. <laughs> blue Mitsubishi Lancer Coupe. So as you can tell it's a rather clean car with a blue paint job. It's got a 4G motor in it putting about 300 horsepower to the wheels, the front wheels of course because it's a Lancer not an Evo. And of course we've got some nice schooly boys on it. See so yeah, overall it is just a clean looking track car, you know it's got some wheels, lowered a bit, got a lip, so I mean, there's not really much going on on the outside which means it doesn't stand out which means kind of lower scoring. But of course it does get points because it is pretty fast. So what we're going to give it out of 10, I think, is a 4.5 out of 10. Yeah, that's quite... We are very strict around here, aren't we? If you're enjoying, please do drop a like and subscribe. Trust me, I appreciate it so much. So to get a higher score, just look a bit more out there. Look a bit more mental, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> next up then. Mm -hmm. Too Wisted. <laughs> what Too Wisted is. It is an orange, again, Lancer Coupe. And yes, again, with the 4G in it, boosted front wheel drive. So it's a very six bit car. It's got that early 2000s vibes going on it with the JDM sort of style. In terms of the paint job, I like that's bright orange. That is nice and out there. The lights are very early 2000s, like I said before. The wheels, I think, are too big for the car. They're too big. And I don't think they suit the style of the car at all. I do like that you can see that big front mount intercooler at the front, that looks really good. The interior is quite expensive, you know, it's got a nice sound system and all that, but it is very dated, the style, isn't it? Now, it's not going to get a good score because the style it is, is what most people call a racer. That is what it looks like, so it's all going to get a 1 out of 10, I'm so sorry, but that's what it is, you know? Though, in the original owner's defense, it was built in the early 2000s, so it was nice for back then. But just not so much right now. So next up then is Mod Max. Take a look. We decided. Wow, wow, that is crazy. Now it has got V8 swap in it. I love those engine dump exhausts just coming out the hood right there. That's quite cool. The air intake out of the hood again, amazing. The bull bar, those off-road tires, those low offset wheels, does look very good. Of course, being an off-road car, you're not really all care much about fitment, are we? Mad looking car, it's a roof rack, the wheel on the roof, the skull on the roof. God, it's insane, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I really don't know how to score this because this isn't usually what we're looking at. But yeah, honestly, I don't think there's anything more to say about it, so let's score it. So, scoring, I think we'll give it an 8 out of 10. It's not the usual thing we score, but for what it is, it is insane, especially being a Sylvia. God, that's very cool. The blue turd. Take a look. <laughs> Oh, 
um, wheel gap is pretty small, but though the ground clearance is quite high, the paint job looks alright on it. Um, other than that, it's an old Daihatsu and it was crushed. So yeah, I think without further ado, we gotta score it and we gotta give it a half. We'll give it a full half point, okay? So yeah, I'm mean, not much more to say about that. So yeah, for a more high scoring video of these guys' cars, check out the past episode I've been up in the top right hand corner. But if you did enjoy, drop a like and subscribe. Check out my Instagram in the bio post, Moody Car Photography. Comment videos you want to see or cars you want to see me review. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time and yes, goodbye.